My name is Jason Solomons. I'm a film critic and TV and radio presenter here in London, and I'm also a film producer. As a journalist, I've been very lucky to be able to use my French. When I was learning French, my dad would always say, use your French, use your French. Every time we went anywhere, skiing, like in the streets, and he heard someone French, he'd say, use your French. So it's a real thing to use your French. And I ended up studying French, and how would I use my French? People ask it quite a lot. Do you use your French? And I have used my French because my French was quite good, so I thought I would use it. And I've managed to cover Cannes Film Festival uh, every year since 1997, and I use my French at the Cannes Film Festival. I've been on French radio, en France Inter, en France Culture, and I've used my French to talk about films. I've interviewed French actresses and French directors. I've used my French quite a lot. It's been very useful. I know exactly when I realised that French could broaden my opportunities. I was seven years old on holiday and I met a girl who was also seven uh, and she spoke French and Spanish and I think Flemish and Arabic and she was amazing. I thought she was amazing, but she didn't really speak English. So next year when we're going back to the same hotel, I thought maybe she'll be there again, Natalia. And um, so I learnt French really hard at school in order to impress her. And I got there and she was there and I spoke French to her and she was like, oh, yes. And that was the moment I realised how one's opportunities could be vastly broadened by speaking good French. Get a move on, learn French, it's never too late. It's a fantastic language around the world. People say, oh, Spanish is more spoken or Mandarin is more spoken. But French is more admired. French is still very useful for English. We have a very strong relationship with the French. And the more that we speak the same language in the same way together, the more we understand each other. And it becomes a very powerful relationship. Everyone says, oh, the English and the French, they're like this. They're not, they're really close. They're our closest friends, our closest neighbours, and our closest spiritual allies. But you can only arrive there if you understand each other's language. Mon mot préféré en français est le mot farfelu. Parce que c'est farfelu. Et pour un anglais, c'est très difficile de prononcer le U à la fin. Donc, avec farfelu, vous pouvez montrer que vous parlez très bien français avec farfelu. Et en plus, c'est très coloré comme mot. J'aimerais bien être farfelu moi-même parce que c'est plutôt un, un artiste ou un créatif qui est très farfelu, un peu farfelu. Je vais essayer d'être un peu plus farfelu dans l'avenir.